You're now tuning in to Fatima Bay, the Mind Shifter. Get ready to shift your thinking and turn it into success. Hello, and welcome to Fatima Bay, the Mind Shifter. Thank you for listening. Today's topic is called, You're a Sponge. You're probably wondering why I'm calling you a sponge. Well, if you're a human being, and I'm assuming you are, you're a sponge. If you're an alien, please tune in to another channel. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> now, sponges soak things up, right? Just at the, at, the, at the basis, just very basic. Sponges, they soak stuff up, right? Good or bad, no matter what you put it with, it'll soak it up. That's what it does. That's the principle I'm going to talk about today. Now, think about children. Children are a great example of this. If you don't have children, you've been around them enough to, to hopefully know this. If you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. Children are sponges too. You ever say something and you hear your, your four-year-old repeat it back to you later? Oops, I shouldn't have said that in front of little Johnny or little Susie. Yep, because they're sponges. You ever hear a four-year-old repeat something back to you? You're like, whoa, where'd you hear that from? They're sponges. You may not have heard it from you. You might have heard it from TV, but because they're sponges. They soak up everything around them. That's why we're careful what we say in front of our kids. Well, you know, most of us are anyway. Because we should be. Because they're sponges. Well, guess what? That doesn't end in childhood. That's a human principle, not just a child principle. It's a human being principle. You see, as human beings, we soak up everything and everyone around us. Good or bad, right or wrong, like it or not. Just simply is. Now, some of you are probably thinking, not me. I don't soak up nothing. I don't want to because I control my mind. I could be around anything. I don't have to soak it up. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. That's not true. <laughs> if you are a, there's a degree of truth to that, but a very small degree. If you're a human being, we're all affected by the things and the people around us. Trying to pretend otherwise is why so many people are so screwed up and confused now because they don't get this principle and don't live by it or apply it to their lives. And then they wonder why things end up the way they are. This is one of them. Again, it's a principle that are that's for both good and bad. Now, we can soak up, what we soak up are words, attitudes, and energies. If you're around constant negative speaking, negative attitudes, that's going to eventually affect you. You may not end up as negative as them because maybe you started off in a different positive place, but you're not going to stay in a positive place by hanging around negative people. Duh. See, people you hang around are part of your influence. The other part of your influence that people don't think about is media. That comes in many different forms. And when I say media, I'm mostly not talking about news media. News media is one form of media. I'm talking about what goes in your ear and eye gate. It affects your mind. It affects your spirit, regardless of the source, and it's true for both good and bad. You are a bank that's being deposited into your sponge. What my question for you is, what are you soaking up? Are you soaking up positivity? Are you soaking up a pool of glory? Or are you soaking up a cesspool? And if you're younger and don't know what a cesspool is, it's sewage. You can't be, a, you, as a human being, you're a sponge. You can't hang around poop and wonder why you stink. Duh. That's right. If you hang around 
the wrong kind of people or stuff. You will eventually smell like that people or stuff. And maybe you're hanging around a cesspool. Or maybe you're hanging around people who are positive and going somewhere. Either way, the principle is true. It affects you. And in today's segment, I really want to admonish you to think about that. I want you to examine, by the end of this message, I want you to examine your life and all facets of it, professional, personal, out at the beach, wherever. Everywhere you go, you're there. Yeah. Everywhere you go, you're there. And everywhere you go, there's stuff around you that's influencing you. We can control that, at least to a certain degree. When it comes to your job, some things you can't control. But I'm not talking about the stuff you can't control because you can't control those. I want to encourage you to do something about things you can control, the things you can change, the things you can modify. So let's talk about sponges again. I'm going to give you another example of uh, a sponge, a kitchen sponge, let's say, because we all know kitchen sponges, right? You ever have a kitchen sponge, you haven't changed it in a while, and it stinks. I don't care how clean you are, your sponge will eventually stink. And the reason sponges stink is because they're full of bacteria, mold, yeast, and sometimes viruses. <laughs> they're full of all kinds of stuff. Mostly what we smell, though, is the bacteria and the mold. Now, where you keep your sponge makes a difference on whether or not that bacteria grows. Where you keep your mind makes a difference on whether or not that negativity grows. Think about it. Really think about it. If you take a sponge and it's sitting around and it's cleaned off dirt, all right. I'm talking about your kitchen sponge. All right. I'm just, again, uses, using this as an analogy. Your kitchen sponge is full of bacteria because it's been cleaning off bacteria. Okay. And so it's going to stink. Do you know how to clean out a stinky sponge? Well, if you want to clean out a stinky sponge, what you have to do is soak it in bleach or vinegar. There's a few other things, but I'll just talk about those two. You can soak it in bleach or vinegar, and that will help to get the stink out. What is that bleach or vinegar doing to get the stink out of your sponge? It's killing the thing that stinks. It's killing the bacteria. Now, the reason I'm using that as an analogy is if you are filled with things that stink, whether it be negativity, stinking thinking, bad thinking, whatever, whatever your details are, sometimes the way to combat that is to get around different people. So you've been hanging around negative people. You've been hanging around gossips. You've been hanging around people who don't go anywhere, who always speak in doubt. How is that going to help you go anywhere again? Oh, it's not. Yeah, that's right. It's not. Those are the kind of people you need to keep at a distance. If you have an expectation of going somewhere, again, as a human being, you are a sponge. So what you're around is affecting your spirit and your mind. That includes what you watch on TV, what you listen to on the radio, haha, -ha. <laughs> who you're around, who you're hanging around, uh, wherever, whatever's getting into your ear and eye gate, whatever you're listening to and seeing, it's penetrating your mind. Whether you like it or not, whether you want to believe it or not, still true. You can say, well, my opinion is that it's not. Mm-hmm. Okay, it doesn't change anything. It's still happening. <laughs> you can have an opinion that gravity ain't real. Guess what? Jump from a bill and find out it's real. <laughs> My point is, what you are around, just like a sponge you're soaking up, 
What are you soaking up? Examine your life today. What is infiltrating your mind and spirit? What do you want to produce in your life? Whatever you want to produce, you need to start putting in your ear, eye gate, and spirit those things that will help you to produce that. A couple of weeks ago, I talked about your thinking and how that affects you. And is your thinking working for you? Something that affects your thinking is this, what you're around and who you're around. Because the people are, are one element, media is another. Do you watch a bunch of negative things and therefore have a negative outlook? That happens. I'll give you an example for myself. I worked in a bridal shop for many, 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 many years. And while I was there, I refused to watch Bridezilla show. At the time, it was huge. It was a big deal. And everybody was watching it. And like, oh my God, how do you work in a bridal shop dealing with Bridezilla's? Well, the truth is most brides aren't actually Bridezilla's. They do exist, but most women really aren't Bridezilla's. And I've worked in the bridal industry for over 20 years, so I can say that. <laughs> but I refuse to watch the show like Bridezilla's and any other shows like that. Why? Because I knew the negative effect it would have on my attitude. If I watched something like that, I would have such a negative attitude towards brides in the shop. I might not show it to your face being a professional, but behind the scenes, I'm like that blankety blank, blah, blah. I don't want to have that attitude. So I stayed away from those shows because I understood this principle. I'm a sponge. And yes, we do decide what we do with the information that we intake. I want to make sure I give you balance with this message. We do decide what, uh, inform what we do with the information that we intake, but only to a certain degree. We're still human beings and we're still sponges. Uh, it doesn't mean that you're around something once and you soaked it in and now it's affected 80% of your life. That's never true. That's never true. And that can't be around something just once. I'm talking about repetitive regularly. What you are around regularly is affecting you. Not what you're around once or twice. I'm talking about consistently. Are you consistently around negativity? Are you consistently around gossip? Are you consistently around shady people? Or are you consistently around people that are encouraging? Are you consistently around people that are going for their goals? Are you consistently around people that are seeking growth? What are you consistently around? What are you soaking up? What is your life going to smell like? That's what you have to decide. If I take a sponge and stick it in perfume, it's going to smell good. If I take a sponge and stick it in sewage, it's going to smell bad. Your life and your spirit's going to smell like whatever you're soaking up. So I need you to think about that. My hopes are that you will take this message today to heart and you will examine your own life and ask yourself, what am I soaking up? And be honest with yourself. Lies help no one. They don't help you. Be honest with yourself. What am I really soaking up? And make necessary changes. And some things you might be doing right. Don't change those. But make necessary changes. You've been listening to Fatima Bay, the Mind Shifter. Thank you for taking the time to give me the opportunity to plant thought seeds in your head. <laughs> and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please email me at radio at FatimaBay.com. That's radio at F-A-T-I-M-A-B-E-Y.com. And please follow me on YouTube. That's Fatima Bay, The Mind Shifter. And be sure to click on that bell to be notified. I have lots of other lessons in video form on my YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. Tune in next week for another segment of Fatima Bay, The Mind Shifter. For more of her teachings, subscribe to her YouTube channel at Fatima Bay, The Mind Shifter.